Hey everyone, this is Vajahat from Innovative and today I'm going to show you how to calculate sales growth on your data. If you watched my previous video, I made a bit mistake in the previous video in the formula. So follow my this video and ignore that one if you already watched that. So here are a few years um, I have added and I have also added sales for it and then I added sales growth uh, column for it. So if we want to calculate the sales growth on 2006, um, we have to click here. Uh, we cannot calculate the sales growth for 2005 because we don't have data for the previous year. So we need data for the previous year. So we have 2006 and we have previous data of 2005. So I'm going to click here in this bar and then I'm going to add is equal to sign starting bracket and then I'll add Crunch year which is 2006 it's B3 and then I'll subtract it from B2 which is previous year 2005 and then closing bracket and then add backslash here which is also called division in uh, computer so then I'll add B2 which is previous year so the whole formula is uh, crunch year subtracted from the previous year and then divide it by uh, previous year then I'll press enter on my keyboard and you'll see the sales growth here so if you are getting the values 0, 0.00 something uh, what you have to do is select the whole column okay then click on home and in here click on this percentage sign so then it will convert the all the values in the percentage so you will get the percentage with the, all of the values so uh, here are sales growth we can see that it's nine minus nine percent sales growth if we compare it with, with the 2005 so you can see it's minus nine percent sales growth if we compare it with the 2005 and if we see 2018 it's five percent growth if we compare it with the 2017 because we are comparing so this is the sales growth we are comparing it with the previous year so it's a 5% growth um, if we compare it with the 2017, it's 2% sales growth if we compare it with the 2016 and so on. So that's how easy it is to calculate sales growth on Excel. You can also make charts for that. Uh, what you have to do is select all of the year column and then press control key on your keyboard and then select sales growth column and then click on insert and then click on recommended charts here you will get uh, different types of charts I'm gonna add this one then click on ok and you'll see uh, sales growth chart is here so here are percentages years and so on so uh, you can analyze this with your data so that's it for today guys I hope you liked my video and I apologize for my previous video. Um, I didn't realize that I made a mistake in that. Um, so that's it. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe.